Obviously, the administration has made clear that they want uh, Guantanamo to be closed. They've made this a priority. Members of Congress have asked for a plan to close Guantanamo. Why has the White House been reluctant to acknowledge that they're working on this plan? And why have they cited um, Congress asking for this plan as a reason to veto uh, the NDAA if, in fact, they want it to be closed? Also, Secretary Carter suggested that he wasn't confident Guantanamo could be closed in this administration. Uh, what reason do you have to be confident that, that goal can be achieved? Well, let me confirm for you that the administration is, in fact, in the final stages of drafting a plan to safely and responsibly uh, the prison at Guantanamo Bay and to present that plan to Congress. Uh, that has been uh, uh, something that our national security uh, officials have been working on for quite some time, uh, primarily because it is a priority of the president. Uh, he believes it's in our clear national security interest uh, for us to close the prison at Guantanamo Bay. The concerns that we continue to have with the NDAA uh, are rooted in the fact that for years now, basically since the president took office, we have seen members of Congress, and this is true both Democrats and Republicans, repeatedly impede the effort to close the prison at Guantanamo Bay, despite bipartisan agreement that closing the prison is actually in the national security interest of the United States. Uh, the fact is, uh, continuing to open uh, Continuing to operate that prison uh, is not an effective use of, our ta of taxpayer resources. There's a lot of doubt, there always has been, on Capitol Hill that this president would actually carry through on his veto threats over Guant the Guantanamo provisions. Uh, can you affirmatively say, as they're negotiating that bill on the Hill, that the president, this will be the year he'll actually deliver on a veto threat if they continue to put in those restrictions in that bill? There are a long list of concerns. Uh, that we have with uh, provisions included in that bill. So there are a long, uh, there's a long list of reasons to be, um, to have concerns about the way that that bill is currently drafted. Uh, and uh, I don't mean to minimize the significant concerns we have about the Guantanamo provisions included in the legislation. I just, uh, it, it seems appropriate to acknowledge that there are a number of other concerns as well. Uh, there are a number of reasons why this is a priority and uh, I don't know what to say other than to just assure you uh, that this is an issue that the president takes very seriously. Right, but you're not saying with your, you know, from the podium today, the president will veto this bill if the Guantanamo pro uh, provisions are included. Uh, I don't have to say it. It's already been written, uh, written on paper. Uh, and this is... I would recommend it's not, you know, the president absolutely yeah. will be... If you actually said those words, we'd all be writing it, I imagine. You would all be writing what? <laughs> you know, if you said the president will veto any defense bill, any bill, period, if it prevents me from closing yes. one. Uh, the president, I think, has made crystal clear uh, that he strongly opposes the inclusion of provisions that inhibit the closing of the prison uh, at Guantanamo Bay. Uh, and because we've made that a priority, uh, that's why uh, the president and his advisors have concluded that if it's included in the NDAA, that the president will veto it.